Uh, look, one of the common factors that we, we commonly address with, with students is the ability to, to accept success and failure uh, in anything that they do. And every time, especially when they first started climbing, every time someone does a climb and hops off the wall, the first questions I ask is, what did you do a good job at? And what can we improve on? And recognising that uh, falling off a climb and failing is just as important as getting to the top. And you can learn a lot more from failing. Uh, commonly, when people start out, they, they think when they fall off, they're like, I'm really bad at this, I'm not good, I keep, I keep failing. And, and that is not a bad thing at all. You can learn from failures, and if you're not failing, you're not actually succeeding. And it's really important that you do fail. It's really important that you push that, that, that limit to the point where you, you, you find out where the edge is and you tip yourself over it. And so when, when I see a lot of my students recognising that failure is okay, they, they embrace it a lot better and they put less pressure on themselves and they'll push themselves further. And that's a really important part uh, when it comes to success in the athletes uh, that, that I often work with. Uh, whereas when people have that boundary there of, I don't want to fail, I don't want to look bad, or I don't want to try it in case I, I don't succeed, they never really find out how far they can go. They, they'll only try a little bit and they back off and stop and it, they don't really go very far. So when we can push it to that next step, when we can get them to see that, that it's okay for success and failure, then we see results. Mm. We can definitely apply the, the same principle from coaching in the business, as a matter of fact, we do. Uh, so at ICP, all of our staff are, are known and they're told, you can fail and we actually want you to fail, so long as you learn from it. That's our number one rule. Um, the second rule is it can't cost us too much money. <laughs> but if they're failing, we're happy because they're learning. And it's a very different mentality. I mean, I've come from work environments where you're not allowed to fail and failing is a really bad thing to do. Um, you shouldn't make mistakes. You should be perfect all the time. And that, that's a really difficult environment to be in, a lot of pressure. And we all know that no one's 100% perfect. Uh, but having this mentality of, of um, success and places where we need to learn, has allowed us to grow a lot faster and try much more dramatic and creative things in our industry. So.